Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. So there's just a couple things I want to talk to you about. Number one, I want to start with 3D, our three-dimensional teaching and coaching. Jeremy Reed, being our instructional coach, has been doing a great job. Uh, the administrative uh, side of it, all the administrators, we meet once a we actually meet twice a month, but once a month we uh, meet just with 3D. Jeremy is not the facilitator for us. We have an out-of-state facilitator that zooms in with us. Uh, but we've been doing our sessions, and we're just a little bit ahead of the faculty and staff that are doing it. Uh, we just finished modules two and three and are starting module four. So, again, we're just a little bit ahead, uh, and we did that by design. And ours is going really, really well. We all get together and are able to we watch the videos together, and then we uh, discuss uh, the videos and the direction that we want to go uh, with the district. Uh, got a lot of good feedback from Jeremy Reed. Uh, he has, as of today, he will have met with every faculty and staff at least once, and he is just very excited about uh, each building's different, each session is a little bit different, and he just facilitates where the discussion needs to go, and hopefully we just continue uh, to grow from this process, and you as an individual just continue to grow very, uh, very excited about it. Uh, he has invited me, I was trying to stay out of it, because I didn't want to stifle any of the discussion or uh, feel like I was watching people. Uh, but he has invited me to come watch a few just because it has been going so well and has been so positive. People taking notes, uh, different things like that. So I will be popping in. I'm not popping in to, to find out what you're talking about. I just want to be a part of the discussion and because he seems so excited about it. So if you see me pop in, don't think anything about it. Continue to have your discussion. Uh, as usual, and I'll try to keep my mouth shut and not get involved in the conversation, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Well, uh, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, it kind of goes right along with 3D and 3D teaching and uh, 3D coaching, uh, but it's for uh, some of our teachers that might be struggling just a little bit or our emergency certified uh, teachers uh, or the different teachers that haven't actually been through student teaching, or maybe you're just far enough in your career Kids are challenging. Uh, kids are not bad kids. We have great kids, but uh, things can be tough in the classroom, very tough, and I acknowledge that. So we have some uh, resources for you that you may want to use. Uh, some of the things I'm very excited about is we've hired three retired teachers that are amazing uh, veteran teachers that are there to help those of you that want the help. You just talk to your principal, and uh, it's not saying you're weak. You just want to be better. You may be great and just want to be even better. Uh, we have hired uh, Carolyn Hot. She comes in uh, usually three times a week to different sites and different classes. Uh, and her, ex she has lots of expertise. She's a, a retired English teacher and administrator. But her real expertise is uh, classroom management, procedures, rules, those type of things. So if that's something you're struggling with, she's an uh, excellent resource for you. Uh, talk to your principal if she hasn't already been uh, with you in your building, but uh, she is available. Uh, she's a great person to work with. Uh, also, we've hired Timmy Richardson. Uh, she's mostly at, uh, or only at uh, elementary school, but she's a retired teacher as well. She finished her career in Title I, and so her expertise is Title I in interventions and small group uh, delivery, uh, things like that. She's very good at that. Uh, if that's something maybe you feel like you need help in, she, she can do that at the elementary level. If you're at a different site and that's something you're very interested in, feel like you need some extra help, we can uh, maybe work that out where she can come to your classroom and help you with a small group instruction uh, kind of focus for Title I students. Also, Patricia Bryce, that's a new hire that we just hired recently. Again, she's a retired teacher, had a wonderful, amazing career here in Altus Public Schools. Her expertise is uh, interventions in uh, special ed. She was a special ed teacher, really focused with emotionally disturbed children. Uh, so she has great expertise in ideas and interventions for behavioral issues that you may or may not be having. So if she's someone that you're interested in, we're starting first with uh, special ed uh, teachers. We have so many new special ed teachers, uh, but she's gonna start out in there. But if you're a teacher that you feel like you're struggling in that area, Talk to your principal. We'll try to schedule her to come in and just observe in your classroom. Uh, she's not there to pound things into your head. She's just there to give you ideas and interventions to help make your job just a little bit easier and a little bit better. Another uh, thing that we have added to our website, if you've never been to our website, Amanda Davis has done an amazing job. That and her interns have worked really hard on it to make it user-friendly. 
It w looks really great. She keeps it very well updated with uh, new photos and things. Uh, but one of the quick links that we've added, if you'll quick links, and way at the bottom, it's PBIS. It's uh, Positive Behavioral Interventions and Support. It's a great resource for anyone, but it's a really good resource for uh, new teachers. Uh, and I mean new teachers with maybe five or less years of experience. But you click on it, and if you're having any kind of behavioral type issues, it's, I, would, I would encourage anyone to go look at it and look at all the different choices that you have. You know, you can have m multiple of these problems, and you may want to be proactive, and you may not have any of these problems in your classroom, but just want to kind of become better at strategies that will help prevent them. But you can click on anyone. Let's, uh, Amanda, let's click on disruptive, a disruptive student. So the student may, and it kind of gives you a list of what would uh, constitute a disruptive student. And yes, this is the issue that I'm seeing in class. So you click on yes. And then it talks about before you start, you read this, and they all basically say that. Try multiple interventions. You may want to try several interventions. One particular intervention may not work for every child. Every child's different. Uh, but it gives you a whole possibility of interventions. So let's click on uh, acknowledge positive. Well, let's do avoid power struggles. So when you pick, you pick that particular uh, strategy, it says, what should I do? It gives you some options of what you should do if that's happening in your classroom. When should you do it? And then how, how do I do it? And it gives you not just a set roadmap, it gives you all kinds of possibilities that fit your personality and fit that particular child. Different things are going to help different children. Again, you may be having a child with that particular behavioral problem and you want to go specifically and think of that child and figure out what might work for them, or you just want to be proactive and start checking all these different behaviors before they happen in your classroom so you'll have more tools in your toolbox to become better. So again, it's a great uh, resource. Yes, it takes a little bit of time to do it, but if you're struggling, uh, we're trying to give you some options. Amanda, let's go back to the website again and show them one more time. Uh, go to our website. It's outthispscom uh, Outthispublic Schools, and you'll just go to the quick links. And if you haven't really studied our website, you need to do that anyway. Uh, go down to PBIS again, and it's very simple. And it's got all kinds of behavioral things. And also, once you've gone, gone through those, you might even talk, give you some information to go talk to your mentor teacher or just a neighboring teacher. And you all discuss, hey, have you tried this particular intervention or not? Did it work for you? How did it work? It, it, it's a great, great resource if you use it. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. We have so many new people. And I know you all want to just get bigger and better and do more. Um, more fantastic things for Altus Public Schools, and this will be a resource for you. I want to give a shout out to our Halo High School uh, esports team that plays Halo. They are undefeated this uh, season so far. They're like six or seven and zero, oh, doing a great, great job. Uh, we're only going to get bigger and better, I think, now that we've added it to the uh, junior high esports to the junior high. So, congratulations to our Halo team. Also, every week's a busy week, but this week uh, we start playoffs in some of our. Uh, sports. Uh, Thursday, softball starts regionals, uh, so good luck to our high school softball team. Uh, Friday, we have a home uh, cross-country meet. It's a huge meet that we have here in Altus. Uh, cross-country is doing fantastic. They're getting lots of personal bests. They've been winning meets, uh, so it's our home meet. It's uh, Friday morning. It starts pretty early, so if you get an opportunity sometime during the day to pop out there, and if not, maybe just give them some words of encouragement. Uh, they're doing a great job uh, with cross country, boys and girls. Also Friday, our football team travels to, and our whole entourage travels to Elgin. Uh, so good luck to them. We have our cheerleaders, our palm, our band. We all do we have quite the entourage that goes and does a great job. So good luck to them. And then Monday, our volleyball team, high school volleyball team starts playoffs. So good luck to them. They're ranked 14th in the state. This is the highest ranking we've been since we started. We're, off, we're just doing so amazingly well, so I wish them the very best luck in playoffs. And as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.